Is this how you feel when you're dealing with word problems? Well, say no more. So <laughs> let's go ahead and start a humor part, people. This is going to be a word problem that we're going to solve, and I'm going to show you how to identify what topic we're dealing with and how to do it. So let's go ahead and check it out here. First things first, every single word problem, no matter what, read the question, not the information, just the question. So right here, it says, hey, how far apart will the bicycles be after 10 hours? So what you might want to notice here is that this is really hinting at a distance rate time problem. I haven't even read the entire question yet or all the information, but the question always gives a little bit of a hint sometimes. So with that said, I'm looking at that and it says again, how far apart? So that's signifying some sort of distance, how far, right? So boom. So I can tell you right now, how far apart means we're looking for a distance, right? Cool. So boom, I'm looking for the distance. And then it says, how far apart will these bicycles be after 10 hours? So notice how the problem gives you, hey, we're looking for a distance and a time associated with that distance. Hmm. It sounds like we already have two of the three pieces of a DRT problem or distance rate time. So right there from the very get-go, I can tell you right now that this is a huge hint, potentially a distance rate time problem. So 10 hours, that's time. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read through the information. I know it's four lines, well, barely four lines, but it's four lines here. And we just wanna take the information and see how does this help me get to what I want, all right? You gotta be very, very, I guess, open when you're reading new word problems because you need to basically know that the information in some way ties into it. You just have to allow yourself to see how. So here we go. So right over here in blue, what do we have now? What's the next step? So it says two bicycles begin from the same position and travel in the same direction. Notice how that's not math, that's English, but that's gonna be way too important for this problem here because we have two bikes. Again, we can say bike A and bike B and they're going in the same direction, going in the same direction. So why is that important? Well, you'll see in a moment because up next it says, hey, bicycle A and bicycle B, so right over here, and here, travel at 15 miles per hour and 24 miles per hour, respectively. So one of them is going faster than the other, and we see that again, they're going in the same direction. So what does that mean for us? Well, for those of you that are in my program and you've seen this type of problem before, you know exactly what this means. We're gonna take those rates and we're gonna subtract. And so why do we know that? Well, the reason very quickly is this. Let's go ahead and say that bicycle A, I know, I know I'm gonna switch it up, I know B is the one that's going 24, but let's say A is going 24 and B is going, I believe it was 15, yeah. Now, what's gonna happen after one hour? Well, if they're going in the same direction and A goes 24 and B goes just 15, well, how far apart will they be? It's not gonna be adding them, it's gonna be subtracting them because they're now nine apart. 24 minus 15 is nine. If I had an easier example to give you, it would be, let's say my right hand takes three steps, my left hand takes one. One, two, three, one. So after every time I go, they're two apart because if you go three, then one, it's a gap of two. And so if you go another three and another one, then you'll have a gap of four and then six. But the point is, is that if you're going in the same direction, you're subtracting what they both go through. One, two, three, one. You take that one away and you see that they're two apart. So if you wanna learn more about how to really understand if they're going in the same direction, opposite directions, if you even need to do anything with the rates at all, I really do suggest this right here, my full program. The first week is free. So you can scan that QR code or go to that link right there. You get a full week for free. That way I can show you exactly how to raise your score and there's no credit card required. We know that we're the best in the nation and we're gonna prove it to you. So going back here, we are gonna subtract these rates. And I know that they are rates because we see the word per, 15 miles per hour, 24 miles per hour. Connecting miles and hours tells you that it's a rate. So with that said, we are gonna take the 24 miles per hour minus the 15 miles per hour, and it's gonna equal a combined rate of nine miles per hour. So they are growing apart at a rate of nine miles an hour. Every hour, they grow nine miles apart. So that's it. We're looking for distance. We have our time, 10 hours, and we have our true rate, because we had two rates, 
we found out what the true rate was, and that's it. All we have to do is fill in the DRT formula, and we're done. So, nice and easy here. Distance equals rate times time. The distance is going to be what we're looking for, so I'll leave that as is. The rate is going to be 9 miles per hour, and the time is going to be 10 hours. 9 times 10, very simply put, is 90. 90 miles, and we are done. If you would have accidentally added these rates, I believe that you would have gotten 39, uh, 390 miles. You would have gotten D if you would have added those rates accidentally. So with that said, my party people, there you have it. You're all set. And as a reminder, again, my full program is free for a full week, no credit card required. Go ahead and scan that QR code up there or go to that link right there. And once you're done, text me at 567-698-8867. Let me know that you're all set. That way I can help you from there too. I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Let's ace the ASVAB.